Hello, Total Justice Gaming. This is Joey, and we are going to give you a Star Dragon World with a Crystal Dragons deck profile. Uh, this is kind of a base wall, uh, you know, kind of the uh, version one. Um, this is the buddy and the uh, flag. Got really lucky. Um, honestly, I know. Honestly, a size zero would be better in this deck as a side as the buddy. Uh, very aware, but the buddy rare is just so beautiful, and we gotta just show it off. So we'll start out with the deck. We'll start with the threes. Obviously, you got four of your buddy. I mean, pay pay three gauge. I mean, it's heavy, but there's ways to get gauge in this deck really easily. Uh, let me just make sure. Pay three gauge. Uh, top two, say so it's two soul guard. Hit double attack. Cards in the center cannot be destroyed by card effects, and you cannot be dealt damage by card effects. So no penetrate, um, no final phase for them, with their, you know, these really awesome impacts that are coming coming out for everybody. Uh, just very, very, very solid card, and you know, only going to get better for the season. Next, I uh, I play two little starter deck ones. I mean, it's fair, it's a solid card. It's not obviously it's not as good as his uh the rarer version of it, but you know two gauge and terrible double attack, which is always nice. Just very solid card. Then I play two of the green one. Um, honestly, you can run without it. You can put two more of the. Uh, Two more of that in there, and you can say the same thing about that, and put two more. Cut the uh, cut this, and put two more of those. Um, it's just a, it's an interchangeable card. It's pretty decent. Uh, gaining life is never a bad thing. Um, you you can you can gain life other ways in this deck a lot easier, but it's, it's a solid card. It's not going to be your big guy. You're hardly ever going to call it, but when you do, he's not terrible. Um, 8,000 attack is really good, um, but it only has 5,000 defense. And being a very defensive deck, it kind of slows you down. Then for the one card that I thought that I wasn't going to like that much, but I really love, the uh, Sapphire Dragon, um, the blue crystal one, uh, pay one gauge, which is really, really good, and get one soul. Every time he's, uh, when he's attacked this turn, you know, I nullify to penetrate, and uh, when it's attacked, and he's destroyed. So whenever I use his soul guard, I get a gauge. It's really good. Um, seven six, you know, seven two six uh, six defense is really nice. Then my one fun tech, the vanilla. Um, I mean, it's a free card. Seven two ten. I mean, ten defense is ridiculous in this game. Uh, if you're really in a crunch. He's just fun to he's fun to have. Your opponent's gonna look at you. There and you know nine times out of ten they're gonna have to link attack to get over this. Ten defense is ridiculous, and with your really good item, you'll get them up to twelve defense. Not many cards can really get up there, except for you know like a Jaeger deck. Everything else they're gonna have to link attack. So that's it for the threes. Going on to the zeros. Four of the secret pack. Zero. Um, when you play it and you have a size three Prism Dragon, draw a card. I mean, very low cost for just drawing cards, and drawing cards in this game is very good. Deck thinning is deck winning. And then the other size zero, and the last one, is the one that does the same thing except for when you call it, you gain life. And gaining life in this deck is really good because a lot of cards um, based are based on how much life you have. And the higher life you have, the more uh, pluses you're going to get. And that's it for the monsters. We're going to the uh, spells. Four of the shield. Um, radiant, sh what is it? Uh, radiant shield. Uh, pay gauge, nullify the attack and deal the damage to your opponent. Slowly windle them down. Uh, combos well with other stuff where you can actually burn them for uh, two damage and draw cards, it's real fun. Second, another four of um, the enhancement. Uh, 
If I have size 3, Prism Dragon, gain a gauge, draw a card. Only once per turn. Gauging and drawing. As I said, deck thinning, deck winning. Goes through your deck quicker. Um, kind of your other shield. Uh, brush Upper. Basically what you do, if you have a Prism Dragon in the center, counter, choose it, it doesn't get destroyed. And if you have 6 or more life, you gain a gauge. So you nullify attack and gain a gauge, which is really good. Then uh, three uh, visible light. Um, I'm I like this card. I'm still unsure about it. This is where I get to the unsure cards of my deck that I might just uh, that I'm kind of nitpicking around with. Um, I get two gauge, and then if I have eight or more life, I gain another gauge. So I mean, th getting three gauge for a very low cost, in as you can tell, like you know, a lot of the stuff is really high gauge. So getting a lot of gauge early is really good in this deck. Uh, then you have two prism eye. I want to play more, but a lot of uh, decks in this that I'm seeing in my locals at this moment have a lot of cards that I cannot destroy. So I usually just end up just destroying one of their little small guys, which is fine. Uh, but thing is, I don't get a lot of the, uh, the good special stuff. So, which also brings me to the other spell that's not a counter where I can choose a card and destroy something and then uh, I gain the gauge of the size of the monster. Um, they're both very good cards, really unsure of which one I'm going to do. I want to make room for both, but we'll see in the near future. And then two of this real fun mystery, yes, mystery uh, setting. Put into a soul, it gains, it gives my, basically all my monsters that on my size three that don't have the ability to that they can't be destroyed by card effects gives them that ability and also when the prism dragon with this card in soul is attacked so when it's attacked even if you nullify attack when it's attacked you can uh, you gain a gauge and then you only do it once per turn so I mean gaining gauge is amazing just for being attacked is very good still looking you know still test playing still trying to figure out if I can fit more of this in the deck We'll see. And that's actually it for spells. Um, I know there's a lot of really good spells in this for this deck, but we'll just you know test it out and see what, how it goes. On to items. Four of the uh, crystal spike. I mean, plus two, plus two to all your uh, to uh, your size threes in the middle, and their stuff can't be nullified. Really good. And you also deal damage to your opponent once per turn when your Prism Dragon is not destroyed. And two Emerald Spikes. Um, acts as another Soul Guard, essentially, preventing your uh, stuff from being destroyed. So say I get into this first and I draw into this, I'll basically just pop this off during one of the turns and then I'll just play this next turn. So you never really lose cards. So both really good. Both situational, but both really good. And then, of course, the last and final card in the deck that it's already apparently done a little controversy. The uh, impact. So fun impact that you, it's really it's a lot harder to use than a lot of people think it is. Because um, <clears throat> when source people see this deck, they're gonna float their life. And they're gonna try to manipulate it, and you're gonna to want to manipulate theirs too, and it just becomes a little stall game, which is okay because you can stall for days in this deck. Um, pay two gauge if your opponent, if you one of your size three was not destroyed during this turn, you took no damage. Pay two gauge, and if your opponent has four life, deal four damage. They can't nullify it, they can't reduce it, and they cannot revive says no to a lot of uh, those fun things, uh, says no to the new Dragon's Y card, so makes a lot of, makes a couple of guys in our uh, locals cry a little bit, 
but it's okay. And the fun part is, it's during their final phase. So, which has caused a lot of controversy. Remember, people, you cannot skip your final phase. Phases can never be skipped. You could choose not to do anything during those phases, but the phases never get skipped. And that's the end for it. Um, so, I hope you liked it. It's fun. If you want to invest in it, I definitely, definitely, definitely advise to. It's, if you really just want a, a big, tanky deck that stalls your opponent for days and dwindles them down, it's really fun. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.